welcome to the Lopes Report. Barry Vitel alongside, you know him, Dan Marley, head coach of the men's basketball team. Uh, practice is just getting underway here. What, what's your early impressions? Uh, <laughs> pretty good. I mean, we've had a fourth practice. Um, I'm really pleased with our guys. They're picking up things rather quickly uh, for having new guys. Um, they got the concepts down. Um, I think it helps that we have some veterans that's come back. It's been in the program three years now, two, three years, so that really helps. Um, we're going to be deeper, uh, more athletic. Excited to see how we do. I think it's going to take a little bit of time uh, for us to round into shape, but I think eventually uh, we'll probably have a better team than we did last year. Isn't it great that those veteran leaders are guys like Josh Braun and Dwayne Russell, those yeah. guys kind of leading the group? Yeah, Dwayne, Josh, Jared, Matt, Kerwin, even though he sat out last year, all those guys have been on the team for a while, especially Dwayne, who's really worked hard this summer and, and is somebody that the guys love to follow. Uh, he has great work ethic. Um, guys like that, and then you have a new guy like Darian Clark, who comes from USC, who's been at programs, uh, big time programs, has won games, uh, and just kind of a pro. He knows what he's doing, he knows how hard he's got to work, and uh, when you get leaders like that, and guys who bring it every day, it's easier for the other guys to follow. You did receive some bad news. Uh, one of the early workouts, Kenzo Nudo, a, a local kid from uh, Chaparral in Scottsdale, went down with an injury. Yeah, really hard uh, for everybody. I mean, Kenzo worked extremely hard this summer, was at every workout. Uh, redshirted last year from Chaparral. Probably 10 minutes into our first workout, just snapped at Achilles just on a pivot, which is just a freak accident. And this is a kid that I expected a lot out of this year. Really good shooter. Kind of filled the void. Uh, Ryan, my nephew, left. Um, so he's going to have to sit out the year, but I expect him to come back stronger and even better next year. But I feel really bad for him because he was going to uh, uh, be a guy that was going to help us a lot and has worked hard. With the time that we have left, talk about a couple of guys that are new to the team. Let's talk about Oscar Freyer. And here's a, here's a kid that's got a lot of talent. A lot of talent, a long way to go. I mean, uh, he's finding out real quick that that's uh, a lot more physical uh, here in college, but he's a great kid, has a terrific attitude, very athletic, can jump out of the gym. Uh, he's going to be a really good player for us. Now, whether that happens this year or not, I don't know. He may be one of those kids that just, when you throw him in a game, is gonna be able to shine, uh, but he has a lot to learn. And like I said, he's had a great, great attitude, and I'm gonna expect a lot of him uh, probably down the road a little bit more. Fifi Adu, Shaq Carr, those guys are, are guards for you, and they come in. Fifi's uh, probably the biggest surprise. Not really surprised, because when I saw him when we recruited him, I really liked him, but uh, he's one of those freshmen that's uh, six foot two, he's got a 6'10 wingspan, extremely strong, uh, can really shoot it, get to the basket, athletic. Uh, he's going to be a big part of what we do this year. I'm very happy to have him, and he's going to be a, a really good player for us for a long time. And then Shaq has gotten better and better. Very athletic point guard out of junior college, same one that Keontae came from. So uh, we're excited about him, uh, can get to the basket. And with Dwayne sitting out the first two games, he's going to be right. big, he's going to be starting. But Shaq's going to be a guy that's, uh, that we can play Dwayne and Shaq together, and he will be good guarding the basketball, but also getting the basket. Bubakar's coming back uh, healthy this year? Let's hope so. You know, I hold my breath every year because he, he seems to get hurt, but he's worked, another guy's worked hard, he's got a great attitude. He's just got to get time under his belt. You know, practice is great, but he's got to get game experience. He's a guy that hasn't played a whole lot of games. So uh, he's going to be a guy, like I said, as the year goes along, I think he'll get better and better. And finally, coming up uh, Friday night, Midnight Madness. Last year, you repelled or, well, I guess dropped from the ceiling. Well, I'm glad I re repelled yeah, and didn't yeah. drop. I was worried about dropping. So there's something in store for, for there the is. students to there come is. on out yes, on Friday? Yes, very exciting. Um, I know our guys are excited about it. We talked about all the new guys, and a couple of these guys were at it last year in the recruiting trips. Darian from USC hasn't had a Midnight Madness. He can't wait to see it. And, and like I tell these guys, we are, we're in here every day practicing, pushing, and uh, Friday just gives them a glimpse of what the Havocs are about and what our student section is about and the kind of support that we get and, and what they're going to be playing for and, and, and playing in front of for the rest of the year. And it really uh, gives these guys motivation to come in here today and really work hard because when they see that, they know it's, uh, it's, it's something special. All right, good luck uh, ramping up to the start of another season. Yeah, and it might be something with leather pants. I'm not sure. Oh, my gosh, that's a Let's scary thought. Let's hope not. Oh, jeez, huh? Oh, jeez. You've been tuning into the Lopes Report.